Hello, and thank you for reviewing our evolution of varnish removal systems. A decade ago, there wasn't a vendor in the industry that claimed to have a varnish solution. Varnish, however, has now become recognized as a key factor in impacting reliability at many plants. This catalyzed the introduction of over a dozen different suppliers that have introduced varnish solutions over the last few years. Following is a short review of the various varnish removal systems that are available in the market and their advantages and disadvantages. Varnish is comprised of oil degradation products, also known as soft contaminants. These contaminants are very small in size, have a high molecular weight, are polar in nature, and can settle out of the lubricant to cause a wide host of issues. Varnish is a costly problem impacting plants' reliability and availability. The most important property to understand about soft contaminants, however, is their ability to change physical states depending upon temperature. When the oil is warm and at operating temperature, that is, above 40 degrees Celsius, the contaminants are in solution. When the oil is allowed to cool for several hours, the inverse can happen and soft contaminants will come out of solution. This is similar to sugar in your coffee cup. It can quickly dissolve before you drink it, but if you put a lot of sugar in your coffee and don't get around to drinking it for several hours, you'll see a sticky residue on the bottom of your cup. We recommend getting a new cup of coffee, but if you'd like to drink it and put it in the microwave for a little while, you'll notice the sugar has re-dissolved. This video shows an image of heavily oxidized turbine oil. Notice how cloudy it is. These contaminants have agglomerated together and have become so large that they are obscuring light and creating the haze. Now, watch the thermometer behind the fluid. As the fluid approaches 40 degrees Celsius, it starts to clear up. Once the fluid hits 55 degrees Celsius, it is perfectly clear. This is in fact the most important aspect of selecting a technology to solve varnish. Why choose a technology that doesn't have the capabilities of removing contaminants while your equipment is operational? The most important contaminants to remove are those that are in solution. Many technologies that have the ability to remove these soft contaminants are sold as lubricant varnish solutions. Over the last 50 plus years, several technologies have been developed that have the capabilities of removing these contaminants, including depth media filters, electrostatic oil cleaners, charged agglomeration, and electrophysical separation process. Unfortunately, several of these technologies have been described as a panacea for all of your oil-related problems. This has left many plants dissatisfied with their investment and their plants continue to have significant maintenance challenges due to varnish. Following are brief descriptions of each technology. Depth media filters do not filter out submicron contaminants, but rather have the ability to absorb them onto their filter media. This technology is simple but effective. They are only designed to remove contaminants in suspension, however. If you are using this technology to treat cool oil, it is important to change the filters out before the oil warms up, or else the contaminants will go back into solution, re-polluting the system. This is known as soft contaminant leaching. Electrostatic oil cleaners were developed in the 1970s. They work by applying a charge to the submicron contaminants as they flow through a collector. They are designed to work with non-conductive fluid, so a little bit of water contamination will impact its performance. Depending upon the manufacturer, they can be effective. However, they are only designed to remove contaminants in suspension. Charged agglomeration was developed in the 1990s. It splits the oil into two streams, charging one stream with a positive charge and the other stream with a negative charge. When these streams are combined, the particles can agglomerate, grow in size, and can then be removed through the system's mechanical filtration. However, they do not have the ability to remove contaminants while they are in solution. Electrophysical separation process, or ESP, was specifically designed to remove soft contaminants while they are both in suspension and in solution. As a result, the technology has the ability to clean up heavily varnished lubricant systems much faster than other technologies. 
Most systems can be cleaned up in about a week. ESP will remove the contaminants before they have a chance to come out of solution and form deposits. It allows you to be predictive rather than reactive. We have units designed for permanent installation, like the ESP-136 that you see on the left, and units designed for rotating throughout your plant's lubricating assets, as you see with the ESP-336 on the right. This makes it very cost-effective for larger plants. Ion-charged bonding, or ICB, for mineral oils is a technology that was invented by Fluitec personnel. Fluitec also jointly owns the intellectual property for ICB. This is the first-generation ESP technology. Our newest technology has a more oxidatively stable filter media and enhanced collection sites. This means that you have lower varnish potential numbers, quicker, and for longer. Best of all, when you purchase an ESP unit, you also bring into your plant a world of expertise and experience in all aspects of lubrication. Thank you for your time, and we look forward to working with you.